So let's first look at the humble decibel, which is like a lot of the origins of audio. You'll find out they go back to the, either the telephone days or the radio days. In this case, this goes back to the Bell Telephone Company that did a measurement of the difference between, or actually the signal loss over one mile of cable, and they called that one bell, named after Alexander Graham Bell. It ends up being that in audio realms, uh, a bell is a little bit too uh, um, a course of a measurement. We needed to split that down into tenths. So basically 10 decibels or 10 dBs equals one bell, which is the signal loss over one mile of cable. The thing to consider in all of this is that uh, we're gonna be using db dBs as a measure of, uh, of a relationship, either in sound pressure level, signal levels in analog or signal levels in digital. And the thing is, a dB is not a finite measurement like uh, a pound or a, or a meter or something like that. It is always a, a relationship, um, basically a measurement against a reference level. So let's look at sound pressure level first. And in sound pressure level, what is the relationship we're going to, um, uh, to measure here? It's basically going to go through the measure, the threshold of perception or threshold of, of, uh, of hearing all the way through to the threshold of pain. And we've assigned 12 bells or 120 dBs between the threshold of perception, basically the thing that you can barely hear to the thing that you know, makes your ear bleed, basically a pin drop all the way to a fighter jet with a normal conversation being around the middle at about 50 or 60 dB. So that seems about right that the sound pressure level, the dBs and sound pressure level is basically just um, measuring the difference between the stuff you can barely hear to the, the stuff that kind of makes your ear, ears bleed. And it looks like it's linear, but let's have a look at some of these numbers here. If we were to set the, the power of, the, the, uh, of something you can barely hear at just one, then one bell above that, or 10 dBs, is going to be 10 times as, um, have the 10 times the amount of acoustic energy as zero dB. 10 dBs above that will be 10 times that. So now you have 100 times the uh, amount of acoustic energy that's coming in at 20 dBs versus the threshold of perception. I go up another 10 dBs and it'll be a thousand times that. So you can see that the, the dBs numbers are kind of linear, but the actual sound pressure level is actually going exponentially, so much so that you go all the way up the top and you basically have 120 dBs or 12 bells above your threshold of perception. And it's, it's moving air around at about a trillion times the amount of energy as there is in the threshold of perception. Look at the first bell. It's basically you know, from one unit to 10. And then the last bell is all the way there. Not much of a change there, but a massive change uh, there. So, you know, at 110 dBs, um, it, it sounds super, super loud, but to go up another 10 dBs from that, the amount of energy that's coming is absolutely massive. Um, now, so if we were to look at the uses of decibels here, the sound pressure level, as we saw before, the reference point is the perception of hearing, and it goes up from that to the level of discomfort or level of pain or, or whatever. If we go over to the signal levels uh, analog, our reference point is at a particular voltage. And I won't go into whether it's 0.775 or anything like that. It's just, imagine it's against a certain voltage and you can go up from there and you can go down from there. Now in, uh, and, and that's basically where you wanna target your recording level at zero dB. That's where analog equipment is happiest to see that particular uh, signal level. Now compare that to a digital um, dB, which is called dBFS, standing for full, si uh, full scale. That is measured from the absolute maximum that a, um, uh, at a digital signal can can reproduce basically when all those bits and bytes are at at, at one you know if we if we were to get into that and it goes down from there and so therefore the target point for setting levels on a digital 
um, uh, meter would be minus 12 because it's referenced against the top end there. Look at the analog one there. It's set at zero because it's referenced right there. The digital is referenced at minus 12 because it looks like they're basically the same place, but it really depends on what they are referenced against. So when you think of dBs, always remember that we are measuring a relationship and it's always against some sort of reference. It's, it's like if someone was to say, hey, our laundry detergent is 20% brighter, then your response should always be 20% brighter than what? What, you know, what is the reference? You know, if, if someone was to say to you they like to see their levels around minus 12 dB, you need to be asking in reference to what? If it's on the digital full scale meter, then minus 12 is a good place to average your signal to give you a bit of headroom here. Not so much, minus 12 would not be a good way to, to set up levels in an analog uh, metering system. Um, in dB's uh, SPL or sound pressure level, they're always measured up from the threshold of hearing there. Analog is measured against a reference voltage and it goes up and down from there. And digital full scale, like we said before, is measuring down from the maximum that a digital uh, system can handle. Uh, another reason that we use dBs is because their scale is exponential and it mimics the vast, vast range that our ears can hear. 